Hello, today we're looking at Zorin 12.1 light. And as you can see the login screen looks familiar, easy to understand. And as I'm, you see I'm running it in VirtualBox with 2 gigabytes of RAM and a 1 core i5 CPU. If you click on the desktop, we get like open a new window, create launcher, so you can create like a fire um, chromium also like this, or simply go to your menu, go to internet, and add to this. So you can either create a launcher from here, or then you can make a URL link like for your mail and change. Make a nice icon and put the www.gmail.com with just a mail and put a nice icon there. Just remember to put www in front of the URL. You can create folders, you can create all types of empty files here, which is quite cool. You can open up a terminal and press to it and check yeah, the kernel number. It's, this is based on Linux, of course, and also based on Ubuntu long-term support. So it's also based on Debian indirectly, as Ubuntu is based on Debian. So it's a very sweet combination. You can find folders, find files, documents, folders in this folder. Also you can set your computer or your own user account or anything that you want. <laughs> it's quite sweet. And as you can see, yes, the maximize, minimize, press buttons is all Nice and sweet, you can move the things around as you want to. It's all cool. Works as expected, which is awesome. And you can arrange desktop icons as we only got one. <laughs> What's the use? Desktop settings, that is quite cool. You can change your wallpaper. Of course, let's take this old building one. And also, the icons, this is quite a cool one, because here you can make your icons smaller or bigger. Because the one thing I have a, against this desktop interface was always that the icons was too big for me. But now they got a very nice, easy way to, to make the icons smaller and bigger, which is awesome. So well done guys. As you can see, when we go to the panel, it's all familiar. It has a time, calendar is decent, volume, internet and Wi-Fi will be here, and battery power. If we click on the panel, we see it's familiar XFCE stuff. They say it's based on GNOME also, so I'm not really ex exactly sure how it works because I got a lot of XFCE stuff, but you also feel it's a lot of GNOME. So it feels like a combination, but the combination works. And it's awesome. And yes, normal XFCE things. If you want to have a proper look at all of this, please look in the description of the video. I made the other video on my other channel where I only use background music, where I click on everything. Here I'm just doing a run through and speak about what I think about the system. And here, this is all like familiar it feels like you are on Windows with all your Windows 7, all these pent icons here at the bottom, and it looks beautiful. This is also Funer and Chromium. This is like Chrome if you're not familiar with Chromium. The launcher icon you can change. But it's a very cool icon, it's very funky. And it is Chromium 58. This is awesome. The menu we've already quickly looked at it. Here you got all your different categories and if you click on them, there's more options. Like Solitaire, Mines, Office, Library Office. Yes, this is just a very beautiful, simple 
laid out system and I love it. If you look at the task manager, as I said, I'm using about, two gigabytes of RAM, so it's about 460 megabytes of RAM when idling, which is awesome, and basically no CPU power. And yes, links to all our documents and home folder and all the stuff and administrator. And here you can change your details if you want to. The software center is a, it's a GNOME software center. As you can see, nothing is showing, but don't worry, just update your computer, let's do it together. Go to the terminal, I press Ctrl, Alt and T together and say sudo apt update and press your type of password, press enter, sorry, and then as you can see it's based on Ubuntu 6.4 Gen What it's doing is, let's quickly go to the system settings. So you can see this all familiar XFCE system settings. I'm not going to look at all of them, I'm not going to even look at them now. But if you want to look at them, and if you want me to show it to you, please again look at the other video in the description of the video. I click on every single thing. Like a crazy man. <laughs> yeah. And then here's our off button. Very clear, very simple to understand. And yeah, basically this is Zoran and here's our lock screen. So basically I'm just gonna wait for just to finish up, it should hopefully be finishing up any second now. And yeah, I like it. I think it's a very great operating system. I looked at Zoran 12 and I wasn't really impressed because there was a lot of... It didn't feel like it's fitting together in a sense. But with 12.1, the previous version and 12.1 light with beta which we are looking at now they clearly fix it all, they put it all nicely together, they made it a beautiful easy to understand operating system it got the familiarity, familiarity of Windows 7 but also the stability of Ubuntu and what the mean team that is and for new people who is moving from Windows to Ubuntu, this is a great operating system. Or even for people who is at work, like, who were forced to use Ubuntu, this is also a great operating system for them. So basically I give thumbs up for this operating system. I'm just so sorry that this update is taking so long and I'm gonna fast forward this video now just to save some time. Thank you for watching and see you soon. Fantastic, as we are basically finished, as you can see it took about 3 minutes, it's not normally so slow. I don't know why, but hopefully I can start too early. <laughs> and there we go. So let's just Close the terminal, let's close this, and let's see if our software center works now. As you can see, it works out of the box beautifully, just needed an update. So, thank you for watching, goodbye, and please subscribe.